If you are a publisher, an artist, a comic writer, a computer scientist, the list goes on. All of them have one thing in common. People who have their work protected, that is, have copyrights. Copyright is essentially a type of intellectual property that acts as a legal means of protecting creative work. Protecting your creative work means also dealing with those who infringe on your copyrights, that is those who use patented material without permission. Long-drawn legal disputes are extremely time and resource consuming, so that is why you rely on technology to solve your problems. Blockchain, as you already know, is essentially a record-keeping technology that was used to track cryptocurrency transactions. It is no longer limited to just that. Today, this emerging technology finds numerous use cases across industries such as finance, healthcare, media and entertainment, publishing, retail, legal services, manufacturing and supply chain, etc. for this issue and can be used across industries. In this video, we will take a look at how Nator Infotech leverages blockchain to offer an elegant solution to the media and entertainment industry especially copyright transfers and infringement. Allow me to give you some background before I go ahead with the solution for transferring song copyrights. At Nator, we work on various blockchain networks, public, private or consortium with platforms such as Ethereum, R3 Corda, Hyperledger Fabric, Cardano, Neo, etc. Using tools like Truffle, Ganache, Metamask, Web3.js, and languages like Solidity, Rust, Node, Golang, EOS, among many others to work on smart contracts. For the purpose of this solution, we will be using Hyperledger Fabric, a private network that allows only authorized users. Hyperledger Fabric is a combination of various nodes and chain codes, each performing different roles. Each party directly involved in the transaction are connected and any change made is visible to all those concerned. This is how blockchain ensures transparency. Now, let's dive deep into Nitaur's solution for transferring song copyrights. Here's our Hyperledger Explorer. It is a monitoring tool that also enables you to create a block. Make note of the channels as well as shows you how many chain codes are deployed. While performing transactions, we can also observe how these blocks are created, how data is stored, which organization has carried out a transaction, etc. In the traditional way of transferring copyrights, we first need to go to the court, create an agreement, and then ensure that all parties agree to contract. In some cases, one party may have conditions that are tilted in their favor, owing to which the possibility of fraud comes into play, such as, the parties may alter the agreement for their benefit after signing. In contrast to this, blockchain offers an airtight solution. Alteration in a blockchain agreement isn't possible since the ledger is immutable a star attraction for copyright transfer. Coming back to the dashboard, you can see some data in a tabular format with all details including the copyright transfer history. In the history, you can see that the song titled Memories first belonged to Maroon and was then transferred to Mark and subsequently to Alice. The date and time of transfer are mentioned here. To transfer copyrights, let us look at the song titled, in the end. To transfer the copyright of this song from Mark, Select the song ID and the person you want to send it to. Select transfer, and voila, your alteration will be updated in the history. This transfer from Mark to Maroon is immediately reflected in the history. When we perform these operations, something happens in the background. Blocks are created. As you can see, we have 21 blocks here. Let's try performing another operation. So, we go to transfer and this time, transfer the copyrights to Alice. Now you can see that we have 20 to blocks, which means that each block stores all transaction details, such as, channel name. Here we use a single channel called the test channel, but you can use multiple channels as needed. Block numbers, when it is created a unique hash that provides security and stores information from the previous hash, hence the name blockchain. Now, go to block. This block, since it is the first block, is also called the genesis block, which implies that there is no previous hash.
To add a new song titled Santa by Alice, go to Add Song Details and select a new song. This is updated on the dashboard. After this, select Transfer to Mark. Now, once you go to the new songs, you'll see that the singer is Mark. When you open History, you can see that the copyright that belonged to Alice now belongs to Mark. It is evident that they don't delete the previous record, meaning we aren't updating or deleting anything. When we create a song by going to the dashboard, around 24 blocks are created including the time at which they were created. Singer name, contact, passwords, etc. And that's it. As you can see, blockchain can be effectively used to transfer copyrights as well as store history of copyright details. Blockchain technology used in this copyrights transfer solution can be customized for several other use cases in the media industry such as royalty payment, content distribution, prevention of content leaks, profit tracking for investors, streamlined payments, etc. We hope this video provided you with at least a preliminary understanding of blockchain and its myriad uses and benefits. Thanks for watching. Please reach out to marketing at for further queries.